Good morning, everyone. My name is Ho Kyung Lee, and I am the CEO of EBR company in South Korea. And today, I shortly introduce to you about the South Korea and Seoul EV charging case studies. And first of all, I shortly introduce about myself. Uh, I'm EBO and I'm the electric vehicle safety trainer in South Korea and uh, electric vehicle service solution provider and the charging plant consultant and the light small electric vehicle consultant and the provide the PPE, personal product equipment packages to my customers. The Korean government policy and uh, recently President Moon announced officially that uh, uh, South Korea will join to the net zero system and by the 2015. Uh, that means the internal combustion engine vehicle will be disappeared from at least 2035 or so. So in South Korea, our electric vehicle market is getting increased very fast, even the, during the pandemic issues. And our original target in 2020 in Korea electric vehicle target is uh, 0.2 million electric vehicle and 0.8 million hybrid and uh, 9,000 fuel cell electric vehicle. Now the target is almost done um, during the, even during the corona issues. So right now at current stage, the almost 0.2 million electric vehicle and uh, 0.82 hybrid and even 13,000 fuels electric vehicle. And getting fast increase is expected in the next few years. And according to this kind of the atmosphere, the Korean government announced that uh, uh, e-mobility policies in the 2019. In 2019, uh, the Korean government announced that uh, 2020 future mobility number one society, our uh, target. And the pure cell and the electric vehicle number one market is our target. And the 2027, the autonomous vehicle up to level four, uh, we're going to try to make us in this kind of society. In the very next year, in the 2020, actually in the last year, and uh, the government announced again okay, with the future mobility populations. And the target is, uh, target is shrinking down and much faster. That the original target. So the 2022, actually the next year, is a future mobility population first year. And our new target is the 2025 with electric vehicle 1.1 million and the pure electric vehicle 0.2 million in just in domestic market. And the 2025 electric vehicle is getting much faster and just one year is 0.53 million electric vehicle. And you know that South Korea, the three battery companies are very famous and get uh, many projects uh, from the global customers like uh, LG Energy Solutions, SK Innovations, and the Samsung SDI. So our target is 2022, and the world number one, uh, autonomous vehicle up to level three and uh, level four in the next year. So there are, there are many uh, electric vehicle projects in the South Korea area, especially in the Jeju Island here, located here. Uh, and it's the electric charges and Jeonnam area is famous for small electric vehicle, like the small duty electric vehicle. And the jumbo area and the special proposal electric vehicle like a garbage truck and the cleaning truck, wash truck, and the others as well. In Gyeongnam area, famous for the unmanned ship, there are some project. And the Ulsan area, actually there is a Hyundai uh, plant is located in there, and the green mobility and the pure cell electric vehicle. In Gyeongbuk area, there's a battery recycling uh, area project and now getting on and the Gangwon area electric vehicle, small electric vehicle platform and the logistic electric vehicle. Chungnam area, and there are many cities and start to the autonomous vehicle pilot project. So in South Korea right now, the electric vehicle market status, actually there is no official uh, numbers uh, until now, the, the, until the 2021 April, the electric vehicle in the blue line is uh, uh, 0.15 uh, million 
electric vehicle and uh, almost three eight hundred uh, eight hundred thousand hybrid vehicle and uh, fuel cell electric vehicle when you compare to the start point to the 2018 and very fast increases now showing in the electric vehicle in market South Korea. Um, for about the uh, regional area that uh, most uh, electric vehicle area is uh, now so the before the 2021 April, then the Jeju Island is uh, one of the uh, best one, but right now the so capital city and uh, now getting increased much faster than the Jeju Island and the near area in the Seoul and the named Gyeonggi is the uh, uh, next one. So it seems like that in the uh, based on the capital area, then the electric vehicle demand is getting increased very fast. And we have many uh, electric vehicles right now in here in the passenger vehicle and the e-bus systems and the small vehicles and now populating. And the recently Hyundai uh, launched a new vehicle, Hyundai Ioniq and Kia EV6 now getting popular and the uh, market is getting increased. Uh, for what the electric vehicle charging infrastructure and systems and uh, we have uh, many electric charging infrastructure in South, South Korea. And for about the, the first charger and until the last year, uh, this is uh, uh, now ongoing. The almost 10,000 first charger is located in the several areas and the highway, uh, less area and the apartment and the commercial area. So the right now the, the more than uh, 10,000 fast chargers and uh, 60,000 slow chargers and total uh, 71,000 electric charging infrastructures right now in South Korea. Uh, but in some cases, the, the, this is mixed up and uh, this number is only for the public electric charging. So we when you consider the uh, personal charging infrastructures, then the number will be increased much higher. And the Seoul is right now the number two area, the public electric charging infrastructure and will getting more and more because the, uh, many people uh, live in the now apartment and uh, there are new regulation and uh, law uh, around recently and uh, uh, new apartments need to install the uh, electric charging infrastructure up to 5%, 5 of the uh, total amount of the rooms. And so early this year, Seoul City announced that the uh, the new target and the policies. So Seoul announced that uh, they will learning the e-mobility policy with the uh, green transportation area in the Gangnam, uh, Gangnam style, yeah, Gangnam area and the Yeoido, and they will learning with the smart e-mobility and the e-bus system. And uh, this smart mobility area, uh, the several areas, the smart mobility area with vehicle and the logistic hub center uh, like uh, Hyundai and Kia will set up the build, uh, set up the logistic hub center all together and uh, there are some green and clean area and the safe and EG personal mobility and the two here even the uh, small ones and the kickboard so eco friendly low speed vehicle load will be around in there and uh, the other load will be uh, occupied by the e-bus and the pure cell electric vehicle system. So to meet the optimized demand response, we're going to try to make some uh, transportation monitoring and control system and solutions. You know that South Korea is very famous for the uh, best IT solutions and technology. Uh, and with the South City, we harden the emission regulation and uh, try to not uh, uh, get, in, get into the city, uh, get into the inner city for the internal combustion engine. How about the e-bus? Uh, we have some uh, plan to provide 400 e-bus in this year, and city bus almost 300, and town bus is uh, uh, almost 100. And uh, we replace the internal combustion and the bus. How about the pure electric vehicle? And uh, in this year, we South City will have a plan to produce uh, and supply the 40 uh, pure electric bus and uh, we set up the fuel cell electric vehicle charging stations as well. And especially for the public park, a uh, very famous one is a Namsan area, 
Lam Mountain. The mountain that are already currently 15 epochs slowing and will add 10 more buses. And this load is all allowed for the e bus, not for the conventional bus. For about the e taxi, and there are various programs and to get the subsidies and uh, uh, for the e taxi and the convenience and the welfare as well. So there are many electric vehicle taxi and the pure cell electric taxi, Nexo, as now increasing. And uh, recently, Ionic 5 and the EV6 is very popular for the taxi drivers for the long distance and the low maintenance charge. And so, the mobility policy about the uh, autonomous vehicle, there are some areas and with uh, some pilot program with uh, advanced companies and the local companies and uh, global companies like Labia or Ismail. And there are many, uh, 50 more electric vehicle, electric autonomous vehicle now uh, under evaluation. And uh, our target in this year is uh, to supply the more than 11. Uh, electric vehicle uh, at current stage and uh, recently the Seoul government subsidy already gone. That means that everybody wants to get the uh, electric vehicle better than the internal combustion engine. So there are many uh, kind of the e-bus and the e-taxi uh, project and based on the uh, electric vehicle charging infrastructures. How about the pure electric vehicle more than uh, up to almost 1,000, almost 1,000 and the six uh, additional charging stations, fuel cell charging stations, and uh, socially targeted uh, 5K uh, in next year. And there are some examples of the GS is one of the big group in South Korea, and they already set up the com complex stations, uh, integrated with the conventional fuel station, hydrogen charging station, and the LPG gas station, EV charging station, convenience store, coffee shop, laundry shop, and uh, the users can enjoy their life and enjoy the services uh, during the car is charging. And uh, recently, Hyundai uh, makes some own uh, electric vehicle charging uh, station named the EPIT. And they are using the up to 350 kilowatt very fast charging services. Uh, because the currently Hyundai Ioniq and the Kia EV6 uh, can support the 800 volt system by the e-boost, and uh, they can charge 80 percent in just in uh, 18 uh, minutes. This is some real example in the one of the highway rest area. Uh, we can charge up to 80 percent in just in 80 minutes. So there are some key questions from your side, and I will ask them my uh, opinions by one by one. So what planning measures of a charging station network? So there are many consider considerable uh, factors like a cost, product, performance, vehicle, and the weather and the data requirement, certifications, uh, many factors. So to make it clear and to make it optimized, uh, in several cases, and like a USA and the other project, using the some uh, platform, platform software and the management uh, software. Uh, that one of the examples is the site tracker. Site tracker is uh, already uh, uses, used for many uh, electric charging infrastructure provider like a Volta and the other uh, things, uh, similar like a charge point that we can optimize our resources and uh, can manage uh, day by day and uh, can get some report and uh, usually can check the status by the dashboard. And what is the ideal policy and the regulatory framework for it? Uh, so I think, in my opinion, we can uh, make it step by step by the product installation, optimization, and the maintenance. And for about the product, I think that uh, we can consider about the product spec and the specifications and uh, how we can communicate to each other by the OCPP and the others. And next one is the installation, and uh, there are some differences between the public charging and the personal charging. The up to the capacity, like a fast charging, slow charging, mobile type, and uh, smart consent. So we can make set up the different type of the uh, install, installation guidelines and the requirements at the time. Uh, for about the optimization, uh, we need to consider about the electric density and the cells, and uh, consider about the usage density and the efficiencies. And uh, there, are, there are many diversities in 
in cities and uh, depends on the requirement and demand. So we can mix it up all together to make a high efficiency. So finally, the next one is maintenance. So we need to control and monitoring the current status and the progress and the state status as well. Uh, so if there are any issue, we need to uh, make some uh, maintenance in a short time and repairing in a short time to make the satisfaction from the customers. But the, the, the best important thing all this process is, yeah, as you know, the safety. Safety is uh, the best issues we need, we need to make it. So what is the next one is so what is the key consideration in grid operation and the management considering the pulse electricity based on hydro power but uh, fluctuating power supply. You know that in, in some areas South Asia, uh, there are some breakout happened uh, because not enough capability and not enough uh, power plant and not enough um, uh, situation. So in this case, we need to make some uh, alternative solution like a ESS battery uh, support system and PV solar system and wind and uh, region, uh, re renewable energy project all together integrate to make it uh, better. So to, to make it better, this kind of things all together, we need to operate the EMS systems. EMS is the energy management system and uh, to operate the EMS very well and we need to integrate with the VPP. VPP is a virtual power plant. So we need to set it up uh, from the start and then uh, we can easily uh, modify by one by one like a model system. And the next one is uh, what is the suitable charging solution for various models of transport, transport for example, e-bus, e-car, and e-2 and 3 wheelers, case examples. So in the many of the cases that uh, uh, shows the very similar type in the different areas. For about the e-bus, the best way is the best charging at the garage because they have some less time in the garage when they have to return to the, from the routine. And in some cases, they're using the swap system or the, or the wireless induction charging, but the cost is very high. So usually using the charging, uh, charging systems at garage. What about the e-cars like a passenger vehicle and the SUV and yeah, the small commercial vehicle? They are using different uh, different type of the uh, methods to operate this very well. So, for example, like a highway less area, the best charging is general uh, because they are very uh, have to hurry up. Uh, so, in most of the commercial area, the usually using the best charger with charger, mobile charge, and mix it up. So the customer can select, it depends on their situations. And uh, usually the home charger and company charger are using the slow charging. The difference is that uh, usually the home charging using the at night time and company is uh, during the work time. And the post small car like a e-rickshaw, e, e tuk uh, the better shopping type is very popular uh, among the South, uh, South Asia. And probably the two and three wheelers, uh, the plain, plain area usually uh, using the swapping type. It's very convenient and uh, can save the time and money. Um, but if there is uh, some land that are up here and the down is in there, then the much power and torque is required. So the integrated type with the high power system is usually used. So these are some examples. In Jeju Island, we already using the EPA swap system, but I, as I say to you, that the mostly we're using the uh, garage best charging. And uh, in IS Synergy, using the mid speed of the charging systems, and uh, in USA Free Wire, using the mobile systems. In Korean, they're using the RFID concepts in the public building and the apartment, apartment and RFID or the smart consent we already using, and uh, now increasing very fast. And uh, usually the, the home charger is a world type home charger, but now the RFI type and the smart consent number is getting increased better than the world charger type. And for about the two and three wheelers, uh, maybe you already know that the Taiwan's Goboro type, the swapping system is popular in the plain area. But if there is some uh, uh, climb nature is required, then the, the Korean type with high power efficiency is required. 
So I think the how we can make some synergy with the Korean tech technical companies and the, the, the agencies and the based on the IT solutions and the regional electricity and the network uh, environment, then the, we can make them together by the technical transfer and make some partnerships and uh, make together and uh, manufacturing in the local manufacturing. And then uh, cost competitiveness uh, based on the uh, low, low labor cost and uh, uh, by and in parallel, we can uh, make some consulting and the training support uh, to make a, a better government strategies at the same time. Uh, if you want to know more about the, my activity and the, please visit the EB or e-mobility in this uh, World Virtual Event site. Uh, thank you very much for listening and uh, this is my email so please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.